I have had just about, quite possibly, literally, truly, believably, conceivably, the worst luck in the world with hedgehogs. My very first hedgehog, she lived for only two years and then she died of cancer. Piper passed away February 9th of 2017 of double kidney failure and what I suspect was probably cancer. These aren't tears. My eyes just went for a swim. Die in such a bad way is not something I ever, I don't want to witness that anymore. <laughs> Funny story, I got another one. Hey guys, so if, if you remember my video that I made so long ago, a month ago, where I said I'm never getting another hedgehog, and I was like, I was crying in the video, I was emotional. My dead hedgehog's urn is hanging from my wall. Well, not hanging, because that'd be, that'd be kind of scary, because if it fell and cracked everywhere, I'd have dead hedgehog everywhere. It's, it's up there. It's sitting on a shelf in my wall. But you remember that fun video, right? It was so fun. And so serious. Well, I have something to tell you guys. <laughs> <clears throat> Hold on, hold on, I, I'm working up to saying it. <clears throat> I got another one. I got another one. I can explain though, I actually have, it's, it's a good story. It's not like I just went to the store and saw it and went, Aw, screw everything I just said, I'm buying one. No, this one, this one was rescued. I rescued this hedgehog. From sure death, likely death. Probably not death, maybe death. Actually, probably death. I adopted my service dog, Kida, from from a local dog rescue group where they kind of, they've actually kind of taken everything. Anything that just gets surrendered to them, they take care of, they find a new home for. So this lady that I adopted my dog from a few months ago texted me the other day, March 27th to be exact, and I was going to uh, California March 29th. But she texts me and she says that someone surrendered a hedgehog and that it is just terrified and that it needs a home. She knew I had hedgehogs, so that's why she reached out to me. My number one rule for hedgehogs was if I ever got another one, I would get a female because I wanted to give Solara a new companion since Piper passed away. If you are a first time viewer, hedgehogs generally should not ever live together. Solara was actually a surrogate mother for rejected hedgehog babies at a breeder, and because of that, she actually does really good with hedgehogs, and she likes to be around other hedgehogs as long as they have the right personality and get along with her. So my first question was if it was a boy or a girl, and if it was a girl that I would consider consider looking at her. Well, it was a girl, and when I went to go look at her, I just took her home. Hello! So, we have an issue. What's up? This little thing is terrified. Well, it was terrified. She got surrendered to me on Sunday. Okay. Okay, when we got back out of town. Yeah. She's been speeding and curled up on a ball. Yeah. Today's the first time that she lets me handle it. Okay. And I just realized it's a male. I think. I don't know enough about it, okay. but I want you to check. Open up. Uh, I can't see. Oh, that's a tail down there. Down there, that's the tail. The, it would have, um, if it was a boy, mm -hmm. it would have like a belly button right here. Let me tell you the story. Yeah, tell me. Carrier in there if you want to keep that, unless that was something they brought. No, that's that's not what they brought over there. Okay. See, she the little girl didn't even have a cage. Yeah, I'll be happy to take her. Okay. That'll be great. She keeps rescuing everything that she finds. <laughs> Where did she get this one? Uh, a friend uh, from school oh. asked her to take care of her for the weekend. She was free, it didn't cost any money, so I'm gonna get her out real quick and then I'll finish telling you the story. So this is her and she's pretty terrified right now, so I'm not gonna stress her out too much. So basically the story goes like this. There was a girl in my town who owned this hedgehog. Hello. That girl was going on vacation, so she gave this hedgehog to her friend and said, Hey, can you watch my hedgehog for a few days while I go out of town? And since it was only gonna be a few days, all she left her was a sack for the hedgehog to sleep in, not even a cage, and some mealworms. And that was it. And the instructions on the mealworms were to feed her one mealworm every other day. That is literally starving a hedgehog. They need so much more food than one mealworm every other day. This hedgehog was being starved. If that wasn't enough, after a few days passed, her friend texted the girl that was on vacation and was like, hey, when are you gonna come pick up your hedgehog? The girl replies, I moved out of town. You can keep her. Who does that? Who just, who just moves? Who just, and just leaves a friend, a friend, with their animal and doesn't even tell their friend that they moved out of town. Oh, hey. You wanna say hi? She's wanting to say hi now. 
Then this girl is like, I don't know what to do with this hedgehog in the sack and with their little just mealworm one every other day. So she brought this hedgehog to the lady that I adopted my dog from, left her in a sack and said feed her one mealworm every other day and then left. So this hedgehog continued to be fed one mealworm every other day and was living in a sack, no cage, just chillin'. So her name is Sarabi and now she's mine and her and Solara are not living together yet. I'm kind of letting Sarabi get used to her new home before I introduce her to another hedgehog. Why are you doing that? She's eating my hair. Stop! What are you doing? You're not an actual lion just because you were named after Sarabi. You don't have to groom me. Like I'm a lion. Oh my god, she's like... She won't let go. Okay. Well, I'm gonna put her back now. <laughs> You're messing up my mane. So I haven't put Sarabi and Solara in the same cage yet just because I'm letting Sarabi get used to her new home and her new enclosure and everything before I get the really big enclosure out of my garage and put them together. They seem to get along fine. I introduced them yesterday. Solara, stop sniffing her. Solara, she doesn't like that. Solara, Solara, be normal. They look like long lost sisters. Stop sniffing her. Well, she actually doesn't seem to mind much anymore. Hi. She's opening up a little more. And Solara's doing the best she can with her little legs. Solara still gets around pretty good for being as far into this illness as she is. She's had it for quite some time. And she's getting older, so you'd think that it'd be worse than it is, but she's still getting around. Where are you going? Hi. Hello. No, you can't go under my bed. Everything seemed fine, but I'm just not ready to set up that six foot long cage yet because it's, it's a big cage and I don't know where I'm putting it. Anyway, so yeah, I guess I have another hedgehog now. The iffy side is I have no clue where she came from. She could have, with my luck, come from that same guy that my other two came from. But for sure, for a fact, I'm never buying a hedgehog from that guy again. Although there are some complaints about it, I suspect that more people don't because he often sells to people who don't know better. So they think when their hedgehog dies at two and a half of cancer, that was just crazy, but not something to do with the breeder where they got it from. I really don't know. Um, all I know is that she's mine now. I know I'm crazy after saying I can't do it again. I'm doing it again. But there's just something about situations like this where I feel like it's like meant to be. But she's doing really well. She ate like crazy the very first day she came home. I didn't want her to eat too much and then get sick, so I had to take away her food after a little bit. and she was dehydrated on the first day the way she walked you can tell but she's doing a lot better now and I'm just I'm really happy that I could be there for her I'm just really happy that it worked out the way it did and that there's no medical problems going on with her so hopefully she just has a full healthy life and that there aren't any complications like my other hedgehogs have had but if it happens I can't control it but I'm gonna enjoy the time I have with her everyone keeps asking about the winner of the giveaway and if I picked one you see the problem is, is I am picking winners and they just aren't replying to me so I just have to pick other winners and I kind of wanted to check with them first to make sure that they were eligible to own the animal before I announced it online but I see that that's not working. So instead I'm gonna announce one of the winners right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and announce the winner here and if they don't get back to me in the next four days, I will pick another winner. So here is the winner. Hold your horses. So the person I picked for the winner was Sarah McGibbon. Um, hopefully I'm saying her name right. So if she can get back to me, that'd be awesome. If she can't within the next four days, I'm gonna have to pick a new winner. So that's what's been going on. I've just been picking winners and people haven't been replying to me. So don't think I forgot about the giveaway. I didn't, 
just no one's no one's wanting to win so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time and thank you for subscribing and thank you for supporting me even though I'm crazy and I got another hedgehog thank you guys bye and you can watch my other videos and uh, one of them, my hand almost gets bitten off by an alligator, so that's fun. Here's the one of me crying about hedgehogs, in case you didn't see it.